for my mini grant, I worked with the folks at CUNY to develop a new section of collect ed called Math Memos. The kind of cornerstone of this site is that taking time to reflect as a teacher on problem solving uh, pays big dividends in the classroom. Who knows chickens and goats? Oh yeah. I'm gonna set aside some time for you guys to just work on it and see what you come up with using any strategy that you think is best. You started with 11, right? We did this and then we had the two formulas. Right. And then we just substitute, got right. one by itself. Right, there you go, you got your answer. Right, it increases the number of animals. And reduces the list. No, it doesn't reduce. For those of you who were solving the problem for the first time, what was your experience like? What did you think of it? I hated it at first. <laughs> I was going to sit here until everybody else figured it out, honestly. The first time we all solved this problem, I think most of us had a moment like they described, right? This work is hard, right? To take the goats and chickens problem into your classroom for the first time can be intimidating because you are going to see things that you don't see coming. What would my students do? And the purpose of Math Memos is to uh, facilitate this process that we all just did together. Teachers write essentially what is a blog post, um, kind of detailing their planning around a rich problem. Then in the second phase, they kind of report back after they've done the problem. They uh, post samples of student work and kind of reflect on what the students were thinking and what they were doing and offer some practical advice for teachers who are going to be using that problem. Each post shows how the teacher solved it, but then she also walks through some student approaches. Some people approached it in a more mathematical, That's I guess right. you could say, way, where they came up with a formula and I was just drawing chickens and goats. It was really interesting. We had some good conversations about it. We were curious as to, like, if the student who tried to solve it algebraically remembered some from when they were in high school, and what they remembered was really good, and then the student that is just so far from that, maybe pairing them together. I think seeing all the different ways builds the confidence, too, that not just one person smart and right. Sure. Over the course of doing it, I've just gotten more and more excited about the possibilities that this project has. Right now, there's just a kind of starting amount of content, but we set aside some funding to be able to pay teachers to contribute to the site. A lot of guess and check. Yeah. And I just can't wait to see where it is six months from now, and a year from now, and two years from now, and what we're able to accomplish, and how we're able to, I guess, affect other teachers. I love, I love that problem so much.